bird. I hope the camera is picking up the sparkles. It's like pixie dust on these Sologeny Pandorata blooms. I won't be able to tell until I get it onto the computer, but I sincerely hope so because there is a little pixie dust strewn onto these blooms. Hi everybody. It is a late, gorgeous evening, early evening, late afternoon, and thank you for joining me. Am I a show off? Yeah. In this case, yes. Do I care? Not really. <laughs> Not really. First time blooming for my Sologeny Pandorata. Set up in my preferred setup, Lekka in self-watering. And if you and Balu don't behave, there'll be no more nyamis when Siliano comes out. Sorry about that. I've got the little ones here bouncing around, you know? Everybody's fast asleep and everybody's chill. And the moment I get up and do something, everybody has to be around the bottom of the feet. You know, that kind of stuff. But anyway, my preferred setup, full leka and self-watering. Now this plant was bought with the presumption of blooming in about three years. So imagine my surprise when I saw that spike come out. Spike, new growth, because they're one and the same. This is the new growth, and the spike comes out together with the new growth. So I, I have two, four, six, eight, only ten blooms, but wow, I don't mind. Does that hairy lip pick up? I'm asking these questions. I'll see them later. I really hope that hairy, fuzzy lip picks up. It's dark chocolate in color with a chartreuse blooms. I don't know. And those yellow pointy bits on the top there. Mesmerizing. Now, for the first couple of days, I didn't actually get a fragrance out of my Sologeny Pandorata. So I thought, you know, first time blooming woes to be understood. But then I'm like, what is this? What is this smell? It wasn't fragrant. There was a smell in the air. And I'm like, oh, well, that's like my Sologeny Lime Bay. And it was the like a hundred times more intense dusty room smell than my Lime Bay has, but very, very, very similar. So I'm like, okay, I know who's playing. And sure enough, this one, woohoo! If you're into that dusty room, make sure you open those curtains and don't take a breath until you open the window. It is quite powerful. And today, as I was considering where should I film this, there's a note of thick honey, like thick, heavy honey. So that adds another dimension, but I don't care. I don't care. At this point, what I'm doing with her, what I've done with her for the past two years is bright, bright light all the time without burning the leaves <clears throat> yeah we kind of didn't do so well on that i chopped one burn off so bright sun but not so to the point where it burns the leaves so at this point i just have her in bright bright shade to be honest just to be safe normally in my top gun corner but not while she's in bloom so in the top gun corner there, east facing, it has bright, bright sun till for, for about six hours, but uh, behind a white shower curtain. So there's, it's not directly pounding on the leaves. And what is going on now, it's late afternoon. I'm only gonna be out here for a little while, gushing. Thank you for indulging me. So the sun that's shining on it now, it's not as strong 
it's not going to hurt it. Supposedly, if we were to take a road trip, we would find this Pandorata in Borneo, Sumatra. There are some islands in the Philippines. One starts with M. I'll put up a tag to specify that. And Luzon, I think one is called Luzon. So those islands over there are blessed to be able to find this in their natural habitat on trees very very low by rivers preferably old trees so that shows a little bit more of an acidic lover and basically what I do is bring it in when my temperatures in the winter my night temperatures reach 15 degrees Celsius I bring her in because she likes to be hot hottest can go as high as you want preferably 32 degrees Celsius. We can do that in the summer, but the night temperature shouldn't drop below 20. Yeah, that's a problem in my climate. So after two years of acclimatizing her, what I've done is dropped her temperature to 15. And that's basically when I bring her in at night and some winter days can only reach 16 degrees Celsius indoors. So, you know, that's, that's a tough cookie, but here we are, she's blooming. Those are my minimums. And if you have Sologeny Pandorata and let it get even colder, let me know because that would help me a lot with my autumnal winter orchid shuffle. Because she goes in and out, in and out. When the sun is shining, the temperatures are above 17 degrees outside. They all come outside to enjoy the sun. And then on the really dark, dark, winter days that's where it's nasty outside i have the her under blurple directly under the blurple lights because they do like a lot a lot of light they're like hogs so i haven't even been looking at the screen all this time <laughs> i've just been watching my blooms as, I, as i've been talking <laughs> what else is there to say water 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 abundantly when it's like this in one week, I filled the reservoir three times. My reservoir being the lower third of the white pot there with the mask. Three times, gas guzzling and always with fertilizer. And then when she's done blooming, continue. Water with fertilizer, fertilize, fertilize, fertilize in order to keep this new growth going because that's what this is. It's a new growth with a spike. So many, many times you say, okay, when it's done, it's blooming, stop the fertilizing until it does something again. Not in this case, push, push the nutrients in in order to get some serious strong structures like this one. And they are so firm and oh, amazing. It's not a small plant. And that's why I was surprised right, that she bloomed for me. Because this one, you see here, it's small in comparison. If you want to see the real Pandorata size can get, look at Todd's Tropicals. And so when I saw mine, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, right, I'm a long way off. But no, here she is. I love it. I love green blooms. Absolutely love green blooms. So I picked her out really fast. I didn't want to miss the opportunity. Considering what Todd said, these aren't long lasting. Mine have been open now 10 days. So let's see. And I will be totally thrilled if, I, if those pixie dust sparkles actually show. I'll be absolutely thrilled. Thank you everybody so very, very much for watching. Thank you for indulging me while I just talk about my Sologeny Pandorata. I really appreciate you spending time watching my video. If I haven't completely followed a thought process, please, please let me know. I'd be happy to do so in the comments below. The distraction is real. The distraction is real. <laughs> Thank you, everyone.
Have a wonderful day. Bye.